I feel like such a boomer. Hey Regal movie lovers, it's Alana Stark and today we're sitting down with Glenn Powell and Sydney Sweeney to talk about their new movie, Anyone But You. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Good. I would say that everyone in the world has their version of a serenity song. And music plays an important role throughout the film. And Sydney, we know you like to get into character through playlists. But who has the better music taste? Hmm. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with Sydney. I have the better music taste. You have the better music taste. I'm a little more like hip. Yeah. I, like a little more She's with it. it. She's with, with it. it. I'm a little old school. Yeah. <laughs> but I like old school songs. Yeah, you do. No, you yeah. you actually do have old school taste, but you you know all the new stuff too. Like you introduced me like yeah. like Tate McRae. I didn't know I knew who that was. That's so cool, right? Yeah, she's great. Yeah. Like amazing. <laughs> I feel like such a okay. boomer. I'm like, yeah, she's great. I think we could all agree grilled cheese sandwiches cause quite a commotion in the movie. But who can make the better grilled cheese? Ooh, I. I'm a good cook. I, I want to say I make a better yeah, girl. She cheese. makes a better. He, girl he doesn't really like cheese, so anything with cheese is more my forte. Yeah. Yeah. What's your go-to grilled cheese recipe? I mean, you just gotta make sure you have the right amount of butter on the bread. Mm -hmm. Good cheese. I mean, I mean, there's only there's only <laughs> three ingredients. <laughs> I, I don't know if there's like the best. <laughs> I think that's sort of it, isn't it? There's not really a special little. <laughs> Maybe it's multiple regular. kinds of cheese. Yeah, mix it maybe. up. Yeah. Shred it. Like put tons of different ones. I don't know. Yeah. I'm yeah. In Anyone But You, the truth gets twisted by quite a few characters. But who is the better liar in real life? I feel like we both suck at lying. Yeah, not good. <laughs> I agree. She has a very expressive face too. Yeah, I think we both see it on each other. Bad at lying. The movie is inspired by Shakespeare's Much Ado About Nothing, arguably one of the first great rom-coms. But who is more likely to be caught reading Shakespeare? That's a really good question. I feel like you would. I I read I read a lot, but I don't know about. It. I mean, uh, Sh Sh Shakespeare. I mean, Shakespeare's a little here. dense for me. I, lo I love poetry. I love poetry. He does. Shakespeare Shakespeare gets a little dense for me. It feels a little ad academic, but I think I think sure. as I get older, I'll, I'll maybe appreciate Shakespeare more. But I, I mean, it's, it's classic storytelling, so you know, it's 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 survived for a reason. Uh, what are you currently reading? I honestly have like a bunch of poetry books. I uh, when I'm when I'm <laughs> I know that sounds weird. I when I when I am on a movie, I typically try not to invest in any other stories, and I just invest in poetry. I know that sounds weird, so I'm on Twisters right now. Just a just a grown man just stuck in up. hardcore storms, reading poetry. poetry. You know, tale as old as time. Oh my god. Glenn and Sydney, thank you both so much. You were both hilarious and heartwarming in the movie, and I loved every single second of it. So thank you both for your time today. Thank, thank you. you. 